Is this the U.S. shifting its position on, on the risk of Putin turning to nuclear weapons? Well, we have seen these quite strident remarks from Biden really underscoring uh, the reality that Putin might turn to chemical, biological, even nuclear weapons in his, his war uh, in Ukraine. And it is a contrast with the comments that we heard from Jake Sullivan, um, the national security advisor, just last week that stressed that these comments and remarks from Putin were really in a line of other similar threats that we've seen. And so there is a bit of a sort of a difference there. And of course, we know that Biden historically has made some rhetorical gaffes. Um, however, saying that, we are seeing a real risk that Putin may turn to increasingly um, extreme or, or desperate measures. Of course, he's, it's nearly daily pressure uh, in losses and defeats uh, for the Russian side in the war with Ukraine. We've started to see some criticism for progress of the war in state media coming through. And of course, 300,000 men trying to flee um, can possible being called up to, to join the Russian army. And so there is increasing uh, pressure for Putin to take action.
East Coast. Down here is Mexico. First wave of the attack came in disguised as commercial charter flights, same way they did in Afghanistan in 80. Only they were crack airborne outfits. Now they took these passes into Rockies. So that's what hit Calumet? I guess so. They coordinated with selective nuke strikes, and the missiles were a hell of a lot more accurate than we thought. They took out the silos here in the Dakotas, key points of communication. Like what? Oh, like Omaha, Washington, Kansas City. Gone? Yeah. Jesus Christ. That's right. Filtrators came up illegal from Mexico. Cubans, mostly. They managed to infiltrate the SAC bases in the Midwest, several down in Texas, and wreaked a hell of a lot of havoc. I'm here to tell you. They opened up the door down here, and the whole Cuban and Nicaraguan armies come walking right through, roll right up here through the Great Plains. How far did they get? Cheyenne, across to Kansas. We held them at the Rockies and at the Mississippi. Anyway, the Russians reinforced with 60 divisions. Sent three whole army groups across the Bering Strait into Alaska. Cut the pipeline, came across Canada to link up here in the middle, but we stopped their butt cold. Lines have pretty much stabilized now. What about Europe? I guess they figured uh, twice in one century was enough. Let's sit in this one out. I'll accept England. They won't last very long. The Russians need to take us in one piece, and that's why they're here now. That's why they won't use nukes anymore, and we won't either, not on our own soil. The whole damn thing's pretty conventional now. Who knows, maybe next week will be swords. What started it? I don't know, two toughest kids on the block, I guess. Sooner or later, they're gonna fight. That's simple.